So imagine this scenario. You've been asked to pick up your kids or your significant other, but they're taking their sweet time to get into the car. You could listen to some music or play with your phone or look out the window, or if you have an Android head unit, you can do some more fun things. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. The first is Netflix. A lot of people have issues installing Netflix on their Android head unit. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it once and for all so everyone can do it. And the second thing is gaming. But I'm not talking about Android based games. I'm talking about, I'm gonna be playing my PS4 in the car. I'm gonna be playing my SNES and my Mega Drive games in this car without actually having the console in the car. And I'm gonna be playing all of these games using a PlayStation controller. So if this stuff interests you, keep watching. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's talk about how to install Netflix on your Android head unit. You can't find it in the Play Store. That is because Netflix has chosen not to support any unknown Android devices. And that's essentially that's what the Android head units are. So you need to sideload it. So I wanna make this very easy for you. Look in the video description and you will find a link to the Netflix version APK that you need, okay? That's the installation file for Netflix. This is for version 4.16.1, as you can see on the screen here. This is the link that you will find. And what you need to do is scroll down and ignore all of these other buttons which are just gonna go to adverts and it's the big red button that says download APK and you hit that button and then close the ads that open up. And it says your download is starting, so you can download the file. It said the file might be harmful, but that's fine, so you click download anyway. The file's downloaded, so we can now open it. Do you want to install this application? Yes, we do, so we install it. You might get some other things popping up saying you should allow third-party applications. You need to allow them for this to function. So once you've done that, click open, and you can see that it's coming up with something that says a new version of the application is found. Do you want to update? And the answer is no, you do not want to update because the newer versions don't work. So you, you hit cancel. And that's the only time that that will come up. So what you do then is you hit sign in up here and you sign in. And there you go. It's as simple as that. And now you can start watching your favorite shows on Netflix, uh, just as you would on any other phone or tablet. And it uses surround sound in your car as well, which is really awesome. That's how you install Netflix in your car. All right, let's talk about gaming. So we'll start with the PlayStation 4. Now, to play PlayStation 4 games on your head unit, you need to actually have a PlayStation 4. Not in your car, but you do need to have it at home and it needs to be online, basically. It doesn't need to be switched on, it just needs to be on standby mode but it needs to be essentially connected to your home network. And then what you do is you go to the Play Store and you search for an application called PS Remote, which is this application here, and then you just install it. And then you open it and you sign in using your PlayStation account, the same one that you use to sign into your PlayStation. Once you've connected your PlayStation, which is very easy, you can select it. And then of course, you need a PlayStation controller. The PlayStation controller is Bluetooth and you can pair it with some Android head units, but not all of them. So I find the easiest way to use it is just to use a USB cable. Uh, so the USB cable for this is just plugged into the Android head unit because the Android head unit obviously has multiple USB ports So this is just using one of those as you can see it's uh, connecting to my PlayStation There we go So it's now connected to my PlayStation over the internet and as you can see I'm using my uh, PlayStation controller To uh, navigate the PlayStation 4 so if I want to play Red Dead Redemption Whilst we're waiting, a cool thing about the PlayStation controller is this touchpad actually moves the mouse pointer on the Android head unit screen. So if you ever wanted a touchpad for your Android head unit, you could use your uh, PlayStation controller. It just sounds brilliant as well. And there's no lag whatsoever. Like I'm uh, easily control, able to control this horse. Let me just uh, get off and do some aiming. Yeah, 
absolutely love this. It's um, it's perfect. So that's how you play your PlayStation in your car. Right, let's talk about emulated games, and I'm going to start with the Super Nintendo, the SNES, as it were, because I do like a bit of Mario. Again we want the PlayStation 4 controller because it is literally plug and play. You need to install nothing. You just plug the wire in and it works straight away. Again, if you can get it to work from a Bluetooth connection and it's only compatible with some Android based head units, you can do it wirelessly. But if you have a wired connection, it will work basically instantaneously. The first thing that you need to do is you need to find some ROMs. Okay, ROMs are the emulated game files and you can find them on the internet. I can't actually help you find them because there's an issue with the legality of them because it's technically piracy if you download ROMs because they are copies of games even though the games are no longer sold because they're very very old it's still technically piracy but there's tons of websites online which allow you to find the ROM files and there's pretty much every game from historic consoles in history available so Get the ROM file for the games that you want and pop them onto a USB stick and then you can plug that into your Android head unit. Right, so the app that you want to download is SNES 9X, which is this here. And you're going to be presented with this screen. So you go to open content, select file location, and it's on the USB stick. And it's under SNES Mega Connection. And here's all my games. I want to play Super Mario World, so I'm going to hit that. So here we go. Oh, I missed that theme tune. All right, I do have a quick game and I'll show you what it's like to play. Ha <laughs> ha, playing Mario on my car. Let's go into this level here. Oh, this takes me back. Oh, sh <laughs> Yeah. Yoshi. You can play Mario very easily on this. On the, so this SNES emulator actually is uh, pretty much the best one that I can find. And um, I think it's free as well, so that's pretty cool. Right, so my NES emulator is, I think it's Nostalgia NES, this one here. Right, okay, so it's immediately found the Super Mario Brothers ones that I have on there, so let's play Super Mario Brothers 1. Oh, I see, I can choose between Duck Hunt and Super Mario Brothers, but I don't have the old NES gun, so we'll play Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> Emulators, there's a bunch of different emulators on there. You've got two main types. You've generally got the ones that cost money and then the ones that provide ads. And the ones that have ads are normally relentless and that you'll be watching ads for like a minute if they're really particularly bad. So it might take you a few to, uh, to get the right one. But if you're serious about playing uh, emulated games, you might even want to do it on your phone. Um, then it's worth paying a few quid to get a really good emulator. I hope this video was useful for you. Again, if there's anything else that you'd like to know that you'd want to do with this head unit, please ask the question in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do. Obviously, subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of stuff because I will be doing more in the future.